say the title of this particular video is... Frenemy. Who the hell uses that unironically? Anyway, Ponytail rats me out, tells the cops I'm behind them. First Amendment cop watch. Great, always awesome to start off with dead air. Also, the breathing. Could this be the man himself? Glenn Serio. So, what useless shit is he gonna get himself into this time? I mean, this is Glenn, right? It must be Glenn. There's only one man alive who can walk 10 meters and almost die. And it is, of course, the usual amount of dead air. Hey, at least I get to show off my new fancy projector from the Tower of Smarts over there. Hope you guys enjoyed this new presentation. Come on, man, I said be quiet, not tell him. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How you doing, Glenn? Good, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Not too bad. You have a coat? I do, I have lots of coats. Okay, you have a, I mean, I hate being cold, so I don't feel like being cold enough. I'm from Seattle, so we don't get cold. Yeah. <laughs> how in the holy hell is it possible you are able to speak a few words and make a complete fool out of yourself? I mean, first of all, don't you have a code? You've seen that as some kind of personal attack? Instantly retaliating with, I have lots of codes. What the hell was that even? I mean, we've seen it on Schrodinger's cat video, where his own lawyer is trying to help him and he's still being stupidly rude. This man doesn't know how to interact with people. Even people trying to help him are enemies. For some reason. And Glenn, let's be serious here. Being from Seattle is not the reason why you can't get cold there, Mr. Serio. There is a much bigger reason why you can't. And contrary to popular belief, I don't do puns. Alright, what the hell is up with the dead air? Normally you always have something to say. Could it be you have turned into a proper fraudster? Uh, auditor? Uh, no? Uh, there's no such thing. But then again, he is just recording and not getting involved in the situation at hand. I can't believe my own eyes. Glenn Sirio doing a proper First Amendment audit, which is not a thing. Well, not really. It's mostly time wasting uh, for people who have time to waste. Oh, holy hell, what happened to you, Glenn? You really don't have anything to remark here? This is so unlike the Glenmeister. What, 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 what is, did, have you lost your touch? I mean, this is an unusual amount of dead air. I guess Jacoby's too good to be out here today, huh? No, no one knows or cares who that is, Glenn. I guess Jacoby's too good to be out here today, huh? And of course you're gonna... <laughs> of course you're gonna repeat it. You're not important. This entire remark is not important, Glenn. I wonder how much dead air is left in this video. Alright, that's it. Speeding it up. This is ridiculous, Glenn. I mean, where's your... Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And your patented... I'll face you in mutual combat. Why don't you take off the duty belt? <sighs> Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Dead air, dead air, dead air. Ponytail, why did you tell him? I'm trying to help you, man. You don't tell the cops the guy's recording. I'm trying to catch the cops... Doing bad stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, and not once, not even once, have you managed to do that in any of your videos, Mr. Serio. Also, that was 250% speed. I don't think it's enough. It's slow. How is it possible that your video is even slow? What's your name? No name? No? Policy violation? 
Yeah, public health code violation whenever you step outside. And that's not a policy violation. You're not part of this situation. You are not a press member. You are just a smelly bastard standing out in the rain without a coat because you don't get cold for some unrelated reason. I'm sorry, I thought you said something, but it's just a... Pfft. Holy hell, man, even the audio profile is slow. And I do see a little few bumps in there, but hey, fast forward. 500%. Well, first of all, Mr. Serio, you are not there to help him. You are not even present in this situation, even though you are present in the situation, if you know what I mean. And all of the windows on the vehicle were still intact. So what broken window are you talking about? My God, man, don't you have anything better to do with your life? I also saw a video of you harassing a hobo. Doing the exact same stupid shit you do to the police. What's the matter? Did the police no longer pay attention to you? So now you're harassing people on the street? I noticed you were in your car. Whatever could the reason be, Glenn? Hey, do we have another video of this big boned dick flute or is this it? Ah, there we go. Uh, Glenn, no one wants to hear you breathe, you out of breath silly man, you. I swear, he walks like 10 meters and he's completely out of breath. This is such a pathetic man. Also, this is uh, something about a driver pulled over for almost an hour for one ticket. And yes, we're gonna go 10 times speed this time. Looks like quite the thing of tickets you're gonna give him there, huh? Just one. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just one ticket, huh? It seemed like he was gonna write you a bunch, huh? He had you there for a while, right? That's what I thought too. I was like, damn, this guy has got this guy here for a while. Cause I drove by once. I was like, yo, if they're still there, I come back and film. And you were still there. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> For one ticket, thir fucking 30, 40 minutes? What do you, what do you, what, speedy or something or what? Yeah, I was going 60, but I thought I, thought I was supposed to go like 50 or something. I think it's like 40 or 45, right? Uh -huh. But still, I mean. <laughs> they're bitches here, man. All these, all these cops are bitches. Yeah. So. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. You too, man. Yep. So, let me get this straight. You were driving around town to look for police officers. This is basically what this man does. And then he has a completely non-content, empty conversation with the guy who got a ticket. Hey, hey, we got Glenn, Glenn Sirio over here. Glenn Sirio. See? Nobody cares. What are you trying to look like? Some kind of press member? And for our final trick... Damn, I love this projection system. Just... Insert a new video, and this is a dick towing driver, Tony. Looks like he could be under some influence. Blah, blah, blah. Glenn Serio. Nonsense. Uh. His intros are basically him creeping up on someone heavily breathing. That is, that is so disturbing on so many levels. Shut your fucking mouth, dude. You got a big fucking mouth, don't you? You stupid fuck. Hey, he's the top off, I don't care who he is. What are you doing? You wanna step back? No, I don't. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Get out of here. Get your tow truck. Get on the road. I'm, here for this. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna call your fucking tow truck company. Have fun. They're gonna they're gonna lose your fucking job. You'll lose your fucking job. No, Guarantee it, dude. Hey. I don't need to go anywhere. Step back. I'm not away. stepping back. If anything, I'll move closer. Oh, he's watching a YouTube video of himself instead of re-uploading it, you know, like a normal person. 
instantly does his dick flutery, and then engages in the art form of dipshittery. It's still a completely useless video. I mean, <laughs> what, 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 what am I even watching here, Dick Serio? I mean, Glenn. <laughs> Go drink your alcohol in that fucking car, you fucking alcoholic. You're an alcoholic, look at you. You're a drug addict. Look at you. I can do whatever I want. Get him the fuck out of here. He doesn't need to talk to me. So then tell him to stop talking to me. I don't need to do nothing. You don't know the law, lady. You have no idea of the... Whatever I want. Whatever, I'll do what I want. For fuck's sake, Glenn, you're such a rebel. Stupid fuck. Looking at me. Like 65 years old, you couldn't do nothing. And you're like four meters wide. You couldn't do nothing either. Besides rolling down a hill, I guess. And double negatives. And even that would probably put you out of breath. We're gonna see mutual combat here, Glenn. You couldn't do nothing. You're an old man. You would step off. You wanna, you wanna meet me down the street? Is that what you want? Oh? Down the street? You wouldn't do it. You're big and tough with her around. You wouldn't do it. Meet me down the street. Meet me down the street, you fucking retard. Ugh. You old fuck. Pathetic. Fucking pathetic. Who are you? You're pathetic. Step on. Greasy fucking bum. Get the fuck out of here. It's kind of funny you should mention that this man is tough when the police officer is around. That is exactly why you're doing this, Glenn. You do know that they don't do anything to you. All apart from slightly pushing you aside and then you have like a broken rib cage or something. What is your purpose on this planet? I'm pretty sure you're not a human. You must be from somewhere else. Because this is not how we human. You're relieved, bitch. You're relieved, bitch. Go back to your hole, you fucking bum. This is my job. Expose scumbags like you. Wait, what? <laughs> oh well. You gotta love Glenn Serio's stupidity. It's just amazing how he acts like a tough guy. But when push comes to shove, he runs off to hospital with a broken rib when someone glares at him. You know, that's the Glenn Serio way. Onto the YouTube endgame. How many Glenn Serios have you faced in mutual combat? <laughs> Let me know what you think about the new projection system. It is now completely transformative formatting, isn't it? And on that fair use note, remember to tickle the bell and all buttons around it. Have a look at Radical Plays when I am over there doing stuff and things, mostly things. Or over here doing stuff and things, mostly things. It's funny how the emphasis changes the meaning of a sentence. Or does it? Uh, bye bye. I actually wonder why he's always outside in the rain filming without a coat. Maybe someone should actually tell him how a shower works.